and you know, I know I know several ways to anger Chase Bell, but tonight he's really got to focus if he wants to pick up the victory against somebody like Matt Vandergrift. You know, when Nick Sander had his singles match with Matt Vandergrift at the end of 2022, that was really the match that opened people's eyes up about how Nick Sander was going to be a future top star here in FSW. Tonight's that chance for Chase Bell, who some say got a little bit left behind, losing about six months of his career to a really severe knee injury. But tonight is his chance to prove that he belongs at the top of the mountain in FSW. Hit the top stars, beautiful Tierres out of Matt Vandegrift. Chase Bell just got thrown off the top of the mountain with that hurricane, Rana. It's not often that either of these men face someone equally athletic, athletic as them, but tonight they're both going to handle that. Oh, look at Vandergrift drop kick through the ropes. Man, he is so fast. I mean, we always knew, we always have known that Matt Vandergrift, man, former No Limits champion, he can go as he's one of the fastest competitors in any ring. But man, that was swift. He's got speed, he's got agility, and he's added some more power to his game, but he just got caught with a brutal sling blade from Chase Bell. As I was saying, Chase Bell, he's got to be focused. Vandergriff is moving all over the place, but Chase Bell, he knows what's at stake here. If he'd get a win over Matt Vandergriff, that would be headlines for Chase Bell. Oh, yeah, that'll advance him up the card. For Matt Vandergriff, it'll be another impressive victory in a string of many, even though he is just coming off that loss to Jay Vidal. Everyone knows what Vandergriff is capable of. We want to see what Chase Bell is capable of. We want to see the potential become unlocked. Well, he's talking about unlocking, but now he's got a pretty tight lock on Matt Vandergriff here, trying to keep uh, him grounded. Oh, look at Vandergriff trying to escape, but Chase Bell, he's going to have to show more aggression than usual. He's going to have to do things like that. Put away Matt Vandergriff. Score that huge, score the biggest victory of his career. Oh, double chops right to the chest. Yeah, the nipple hacker. Yes. Oh, and, and Vandergriff hits the corners hard. Took him right off his feet. Only a two count. Chase Bell just throwing Matt Vandergriff into that corner as hard as he could. And there he goes again. Slapping on a leg lock to the midsection of Matt Vandergriff. Very smart. Vandergriff started this match really fast. You know, all over the place. Chase Bell knows he has, he has to keep his opponent grounded if he wants to get the advantage. Stretching him every which way. Stretching him, and he's taking the wind out of him, too. And you notice that amateur wrestling background there, having the whereabouts to make sure Vandergriff is on his shoulders to possibly get a pin. Slams him down with a body slam. Oh, look at Chase Bell. He wants some respect put on his name tonight. I know it is very much tit for tat when you're in the ring with Chase Bell. Trust me, I know from experience. It looks like he might be getting a little cocky, taking a uh, some notes out of Ricky Tenacious, his book of greatness. And that was a great body slam. I cannot deny it. How, how is uh, he going to... How, is, how are you going to sing if he takes all your notes? That's not possible. Oh. I have all of my songs written down in a golden notebook. It's locked in a safe. No one else can get it me. Put it somewhere safer. Get a chastity belt. Oh, look at Bell taunting Vandergriff. Did not expect to see that. I expected more sportsmanship. You know, I'm actually kind of proud of Chase Bell right now. Look at how aggressive he is. He knows the situation that he's in. He knows what he has to do. You can't waste any time, especially when time is such an essence with Matt Vandergriff. Do you promise if he pulls off the upset to serenade him? Get yeah. me a mic and get me a hefty envelope, and I'll consider it. Oh, look at that, Vandergriff. So, can so quickly turn the tide of a match, but Chase Bell on top of his game tonight. Absolutely beautiful drop kick as Vandergrip's on the top rope. Yeah, Matt's hung up. The leg power of Chase Bell. He's got incredible leaping ability. And look at the way. I don't, I don't think the cameras would have caught that, but he's called he's calling Vandergrip yeah, baby boy. I do see it. Now he's now he's trying to impress Ricky. What is he setting up for? Superplex! Off the top rope. Both men slammed down to the mat. Chase Bell.
Bell pulling out a huge trick from his bag to you, hopefully get the win on Vandegrift, but it looks like it took quite a bit of energy. Yeah, out of yeah, you've been on the receiving end and you've delivered that move. Is it always worth the, the pain you feel delivering it for what it does to your opponent? You want to talk about the worth of risk, right? You're in there with Matt Vandegrift, somebody who, uh, who who is always flying. Doesn't understand the word risk management. Exactly, you know, so I think when you're wrestling an opponent like him, you kind of have to think like an opponent like him. Yeah, when you, when you, when you sign up to face Matt Vandegrift, you realize that you're going to be taking more risk than you normally would. You're getting more strike exchanges. Back and forth, forearm for forearm. Vandegrift fighting back now. Vandegrift spending all that time at the New Japan Dojo. Sano kick gets Vandegrift. Bell bomb. Ding dong. Vandegrift though, heard him call his shot and had a counter in mind. And now grabbing Bell by his scruff, delivering those shots, not letting him go anywhere. But the reversal, Chase Bell going on in. That's a series we often see from Vandegrift. This is the kick. Chase Bell pushed them away. Matt Vandegrift, he has an answer for absolutely everything. Tiger there Fiend is not kick. a test that he wouldn't pass. Tiger Fiend kick, only caught it with one foot, but that was enough to do the trick. And now Vandegrift, where he feels most comfortable. For the splash gets caught by the knees. Small package. And it looks like the way he landed, he actually caught Vandegrift more in the side than he did the stomach, which might be make him worse off. Inverted suplex. This could be it. That was a huge move. One, two, but not enough to take out Matt Vandegrift, the aerial chemist. Well, Bell trying to figure out the potion to take down the chemist. And he got a near fall there. Almost pulled off the upset. The main attraction could become the pain attraction after everything he's putting himself through in this match. Doing whatever he can to try to get to the big finish, that big win he's hoping for. Drop all his weight across Vandegrift's neck. And now he's gonna connect with the bell bomb. Ding dong. No. Looks like a dish instead. Va Wait a minute. I was about to say, Vandegrift's like Kidman. You can't power bomb him. Variation. Oh, and only gets a two out of it. Close ball right there. Chase Bell sticking through with this one. Vandergriff looking surprised. Perhaps if Vandergriff had been able to sit out with that and clutch the leg immediately, he could have gotten the victory with the Falcon Arrow, but it wasn't meant to be. Too much damage was done to his back. I don't think he wanted to sit out with it. Chase Bell rolling superhero punch. Came out of nowhere, taking a page out of my book with the, the forward roll before he's moved. The inventor of the forward roll, Ricky Tenacious. Yeah, you're damn right. Now he's going for the bell bomb. And he connects this time. Stacks him high. No. Great ring awareness from Matt Vandegrift. That was a huge power bomb. Matt Vandegrift able to grab the rope there. As I've seen throughout this match, Chase Bell has been uh, very much on point with this ring awareness, that amateur wrestling background coming into play, trying to uh, uh, turn any maneuver or hold he can into a pin, because that is the name of the game. That's the one, two, three you need. Now he pulls him into the center. Stop it, uh -oh. and again, it's a new mean streak out of Chase Bell. Chase Bell with a few fans in the audience. But I am here calling this match, and I might be calling a a moot salt that he is known for. Has the Jimmy knocked me out once? But he misses it. And while well, he just had the wind knocked out of himself, crash and burn. And now Vanderip with that chemist kick turns Chase Bell inside out. This has brought him so many victories. Will it bring him another? Ladies and gentlemen, your winner of the match, Matt!